Hey folks, Papa Boris here, playing some more Warhammer 40k Mechanicus. Not a whole lot to do here between missions. I guess at this point there won't be much in general. We got the better axe, so now it will not deal 4 to 6 damage, but rather 5 to 7, which is fantastic. Still only costs 1 CP, just takes an extra augment slot, but that's fine because we have plenty of those. As far as the missions go, there's really two that catch my eye. So we have, I guess I should say three. There's this one. Scanner's useless, or this thing is, I think, kind of dumb, but this thing is like the improved version of the claw. It gets two CPs instead of one, which is nice. There's this biohazard mission here, which gives the top tier force field generator and also the top tier buzzsaw. And then this one down here gives the top tier scanner and then the improved version of the arc rifle. Instead of doing one to eight damage, it does one to 12, though it's still probably not worth it for three CPs. So, best scanner or second best claw or best field generator and best poke stick i guess we'll go for the poke stick so let's launch the mission here i'm feeling a bit frisky so let's go ahead and actually take one of these nice bots i'll take this one we haven't played with this one yet it doesn't have all the abilities of the other one but it's a pretty cool shot. It deals 5 to 10 energy damage, and it's like an AoE. So it's a full circular AoE. You can do, you know, 5 to 10 damage to a bunch of enemies. That can be a nice thing to have. I could take, for example, the Canticle that gives me plus 9 energy damage and have this person, have this bot load up on it. I'm not going to do that yet. We'll do those kinds of things later when I've leveled up a Tech Priest to the top of the, I forget what it's called, the unit tree where you can summon a unit for one CP anywhere on the map. Okay, so this is a normal mission. We're gonna have two things and they're next to each other and I'm not gonna do the optional fight. I will do only one glyph instead of three for the sake of time. It probably is worth the extra ne Necron Awakening level, the Tomb Awakening level to get the extra glyphs because glyphs are often good. This is a pretty bad one here, but the only good thing that happens is we get some CPs. Three Necron Awakening level, I'm not a fan. Would have done without that. That's another reason why it's good to go on glyphs. You know, with the glyphs, you can control what you're getting. So let's go ahead and type in Mechanicus Glyph Guide. What are our, what are our options here? Uh, I think this is you take damage, so uh, I'm not going to click on that one. And then the other one is, I know I've looked this up before, the circles. Oh, that's that's negative CP. Ugh, okay. Well, we'll take a bit of damage. So sometimes with the damage, it's a, it's a unit who takes it and not a tech priest, which, you know, it's not irrelevant, but... I'd rather it be a unit than a tech priest, generally speaking, because then with the tech priest, you have to worry about healing to not lose Blackstone. All right, wow, this is a tough, tough level. Tough level. But for all that difficulty, we did get a nice full CP bar to kick things off. And now we're going to do the first mission. Hope it's the easy one. You always want the easy one first, not that you can control these things. Or maybe you can, maybe you can tell somehow by what room it is, which one's the easy one if you've played before, but you hope for the easy one first just because that way you can save all your hard stuff for the end. Okay, this does look like the easier of two missions simply because the flayed ones are irrelevant and the warriors are relevant. So the only thing that really matters here is this one immortal and this one destroyer. Now the destroyer is within shooting distance of us, so I am going to put up one of these, oh god, do I want to do that? Just to have it die. I mean, there is another thing after this, so it seems a little bit foolhardy. Maybe I could go over here and just hope I'm out of range of the destroyer. Yeah, let's try that. If I take damage on my tech priests, I can maybe heal it later. But if a servitor dies, there's no fixing it. I could spawn this thing and try to get some AoE attacks off. It's an interesting idea. I think it's pretty safe back here-ish. Okay, we'll do this. I will protect it with the body of my tech priest who has four armor. This could be a horrible mistake, but it's fun, so let's go ahead and do it. Okay, so destroyer goes at the beginning and at the end, and it didn't have enough reach to shoot at anybody, which is great. Flayed one, not quite there. All right, 
you if you delay you are gonna go after the destroyer so I have to keep that in mind let's just poke around see what I can do um, okay well if I just take one little step forward here can I hit all three of those and the scanner I might actually destroy the scanner without getting to scan the black stone or I could just shoot two instead of three and that won't be an issue all right we'll risk it it's a pretty cool animation okay so I blew up the scanner that means we get the Necron awakening level down but we don't get the black stone but that was fun right and then we're gonna go back here and hide because I don't really want this character to get shot at by anything it is my prized possession Okay, that flayed one takes the long way around. Don't want to delay. Uh, is, I mean, is there a good shot to take with a flamethrower? That's the question. I absolutely need to get this immortal. I'm going to delay just because I need to get the immortal. I'm still not sure I'll be able to do this, but... We'll try. Oh, this actually ended up working poorly because this character can still take damage from Necron Warriors. I think what I'm going to do is we'll set up for the flamethrower. I don't know if the other character is going to have the angle on this immortal to get it. But, I mean, if it just kills the flayed ones and the warrior it's and knocks out this corpse, it's not the end of the world either. So, what are you doing exactly? Well, we got to get up to the destroyer and make sure it provokes an opportunity attack. Uh, hang on. My other character can do this himself so maybe i don't need to delay maybe i could just or maybe i don't need to go now maybe i can delay let this destroyer come up and then servitor bomb it more more appropriately all right let's try this so this guy will take a shot i think maximum damage is three luckily just one pretty irrelevant for this big beefcake it's not really that scary and now you can go so what i'm gonna do is make sure my next shot is free and let's experiment. Is there any place from which I can hit that immortal? I'm trying to see if the flamethrower icon appears on the immortal from any of these squares. From this one. This one. This one. I can shoot at the Necron Warrior and the immortal. I'm not hitting the flayed ones then, but the flayed ones, I mean, do, do I care about the flayed ones that much? I don't think I care about them very much. Hmm. Well, we're not going hog wild here because the other character is delayed. Okay, so I'm just going to do one instance of this. 12 to 14. Let's scan here just to see whether that'll be enough. It is enough to kill them. And I can also knock the corpse out. So I'm kind of splitting my resources a bit. I'm not kind of going all in with one shot now we'll shoot I might as well I guess just get some extra damage since I didn't need it to kill these I use the bonus damage afterward we'll shoot at this to reveal its stats okay I got the energy armor which is fine because I'm going to be servitor bombing it so I'm not super concerned about that and I guess what we should come up here we can poke stick one of them poke can I is this a walkthrough this is not a walkthrough path and then we can just go here to get the CP I have a lot of CP I think I'm gonna reveal this thing's stats I wanna know what I'm dealing with okay so no energy armor is not great. I actually don't do that much energy armor these days, but maybe my minion can shoot it at some point. I'm missing one HP. I don't think I want to use my healing things right now. So you will do this. Take a free shot at the flayed one. Okay. Was that a crit? Yeah, it's dead. Now we can what use this dinker weapon just to knock out that corpse so i don't have to worry about it okay we can walk up to this guy
I mean, I could do a crazy move. I could do this and activate the physical damage canticle just to really whack that thing. Why not, right? Sure, there's still an immortal hanging out there, but if that's the only enemy, then, like, who really cares? Let's pump the damage all the way. I don't worry about CPs. I still have an ability that refills my gauge, which I should actually probably use. So, big old whack. This thing's not as scary as it was back on the first mission. In fact, we can... Wait a minute. There's really no point in the buzzsaw. It's already dead to my opportunity attack. This thing has to trigger an opportunity attack. So, does anybody have non-revealed stats? Oh, wait. What am I talking about, non-revealed stats? I, I gotta get two CPs from over here. I totally forgot that existed. So, yeah. With how easy this is going, I do regret that I blew up the scanner. So, that, you know, that blackstone, that's blackstone I'm never gonna have. But... Maybe I could have avoided that if I had delayed and let the flayed ones come up and then shot at them. That was, that was a little bit, you know, foolhardy. I'm not going to use my shield because this there's no other enemies here at the moment. I guess these two things are glowing, so I could have perhaps been considerate of that. Yeah, I should have definitely been considerate of that. All right. Well, I'll stick a servitor here just because maybe the Necron will then shoot it instead of my character. That ability of getting CPs for kills is strangely more useful than I expected it to be. This guy, I guess, does get some kills every so often. Alright, so now I made a... Oh man, I think I made a mistake. I shouldn't have moved my Servitor up like that. I have a nagging suspicion that if I shoot at this warrior, I'm going to hit my Servitor. Oh, I'm not. And it even clears out a corpse. Oh, well, okay. Alright, great. Very cool animation. Don't know the damage, because, of course, stats aren't revealed. We'll come over here uh, so that as the Immortal comes up, I can start shooting at it. And now, my character. Well, I would definitely like to start shooting at this Immortal. I think I'll delay, even though I have a good sense that the Immortal will come up and shoot me. I can heal from it, and I want it to be in better position, because right now I'm kind of out of position. Oh, God, it's going this way? What is it? Oh, oh, because it can actually hit me from there. Oh, my God. Okay, so what, did that, like, reduce my movement or something? Seems like the kind of thing that would happen. All right, we'll shoot at this warrior. It might be dead, just because of the shot that I took at it from my robot pal. Okay, so my guy's damaged. Both of them are a bit damaged. I'm not super concerned about it. There's another fight, so I can finesse things if need be. All right, let's whack it with my big thing. It's a total waste of the armor stripping. Hmm. I think, actually, do I care about that? I don't think I care about it. There's just the immortal. I'm not worried about it. We'll just let it be and just get the damage on while I can. Nice crit there. We'll do the buzzsaw. And out of respect for the potential of some enemy popping out, let's pop a shield. What are you doing? Well, you gotta chase after this immortal, I guess. Even though this is going hilariously wrong now. So we'll shoot at it. For a decent chunk of damage. And then we'll set it on fire. That's mostly what I'm interested in getting at with this. I think, actually, I will use my last CP to walk up here so I can Servitor Bomb it. And we'll use this Canticle to get some CPs back. It's inefficient because I have an ability on my other character that just grants CPs, fills up the whole gauge. So it's a bit silly to be doing it this way instead. But I'm okay with it. Let's go ahead and pop both these Servitors in here, the damaged ones. You, okay, this Servitor is not likely to be relevant at any point for the remainder of this mission. The armor is not really going to help save me from the servit from this Immortal. But I am going to take this attack that does zero damage because that turns on Machine Spirit. So I can hurt it a little bit when it provokes the opportunity attack. And this Immortal is firing this AoE shot, so these Servitors might actually survive. It's not impossible. Work. 
All right. Uh, we got this issue with the blocking line of sight. Okay, so we can get here. Let's pop a shot. I would really like to actually win on this round. Oh my god, we can actually get the get the flayed one from all the way over there. That's pretty funny. This thing's dead. Not too surprised because I did whack it last time. And yeah, we'll just do a damage to that immortal. Man, now I kind of do wish I had my armor stripping attack from the other character. Okay, I am going to heal. I'm gonna heal one of these. I'm gonna heal these servitors. Why not? We have another fight in which to heal our main characters. So let's improve the odds of these servitors making it. Might as well, right? Can I poke this thing? No, I don't want to poke it. I don't want to push it because I want it to be next to the servitors for the opportunity attack purposes. So a little bit of damage, not a whole lot. But it is on fire, so it's going to take one more AoE shot here and die. I like these AoE shots, though. They don't do very much damage. And, like, yeah, movement is reduced, but also, who cares? I'm perfectly fine with it. Okay. So this character, my, my melee character, should have really used his heal stick to heal himself with. Oh, my God. There's nothing good. Okay, well, we're taking CPs, which is Blackstone, because I'm at a maximum gauge. Another Servitor gets damaged. Everyone's getting really roughed up here. But now I'm expecting this to be a very difficult fight. So this one, I'm hoping for an opportunity to kill three enemies with my Flamethrower and go all out. Both Canticles, both Canticle using skills and the actual Canticle itself. Two, I don't know if I would go all out for. All right, scan or destroy. Nice. So we're going to get a bunch of Blackstone, which I'm very happy about because I didn't get very much Blackstone last time. Is it really just a Destroyer and a bunch of Flayed ones? Huh. Then this is actually not... Oh, there's an Immortal. Okay. So we want to get the Destroyer and the Immortal. I'm going to be a little bit frisky here. Maybe... Like... Should I just... I mean, everyone's just going to kind of funnel in here and come at me, bro, right? So... Really, just don't, I don't want to be in range... Yeah, let's just put people behind. I don't mind spending a CP. I'm just drowning in CPs. I don't mind spending CPs to um, move more. Now, the spawning of this robot is a little bit tricky because I don't actually want it to get shot at, but I need to make sure it can actually maneuver. So, like, back here I think it should be safe. There is this path, but the immortal is, who, is, who is the main danger is up there, and the destroyer is up there as well. So all these so th actually this level is the easier level I th actually maybe, maybe this is just not I, I expected this to be a hard mission just because of the fact that it's like late in the series but both of these missions are actually kind of easy I'm gonna delay with this character because more flayed ones maybe could walk up here I don't know which of these have already moved or not but maybe one of them if it hasn't moved can walk up there okay so this guy is my shooter which is great so I'm gonna delay with him Oh, no, it's not great. No, it's, I wanted it the other way around. Right, so now if I delay, I can't get all three canticles up. All right, but that's fine. We're going to go for it. So what are you doing with your life? Um, the immortal, I believe, actually has more health than the destroyer. So the immortal is the one that I would like to shoot at. And, you know, put a little extra love tap on there. I am a little worried this destroyer is actually going to move away because now this path is blocked, so the AI might tell it to go the other way. Uh, am I not going to be able to hit the immortal and the destroyer with a flamethrower shot? Those are the only two difficult enemies here. Now, it's possible more immortals or something will pop out of these glowy gates. Oh, wait, that immortal didn't have very much health, but I did take a pretty big bite out of it, so okay, I'm fine with it. Uh, I don't think I need to pop this shield. I really don't see this destroyer getting up here because this flayed one blocked it in. Unless that flayed one has yet to move. No, the destroyer's blocked in. It could actually be a major problem. Um, yeah, let's just go here, I guess. I'll take a shot at the flayed one. Why not? And, well, sure, we'll, we'll put a shield up. I mean, I'm not going to worry about it. We got 
CPs for days here. All right. Oh, I need to actually remember to do this. <laughs> that, that would have been not the end of the world if I forgot, but obviously that was like a major point of what I was trying to do. I should just pop this. It's obviously really inefficient, but I can heal because I do need to heal. Yeah, let's pop it. Pop it while it's hot. I'd rather need it and not have it, you know what I mean? Because that just means at least I put it to good use. So, okay, the immortal has to go. And then the big variable is what the destroyer chooses to do. Okay, the destroyer just, just stays put. He doesn't try to go around, which is great. All right, so this big robot is fantastic. It just hits all these flayed ones for me. I could have actually had it shooting over here if I'd positioned things better, but I'm perfectly happy with it just doing cleanup duty on these easy enemies. We'll have it hide in the force field. And now, this is great. We get the immortal and the destroyer in one shot. So we'll go here. I'm gonna do a bit of a frisky move. Oh no, I don't, never mind. I don't need to do anything frisky. We can just reveal their stats with the scanner. I was gonna say I was gonna use my um, servo skull to scope out the destroyer to see if I needed to use the actual canticle itself to kill it. It is a priority for me that it dies on this shot. Um, it does not die. It will basically burn to death. Nope, I want to just kill it. I actually want to straight up kill it, but that does mean I have the canticle left over. So maybe I'm just really overpowered for this mission, though it's a little odd. It could just be an easy mission since it shouldn't be that easy since it is a later mission. It, it, like, just appeared in the lineup. And then this, I could, of course, clean up these corpses, one of these corpses, but I think I'd rather just shoot at these flayed ones. It did take a shot from my robot, so it had a chance of dying. And there's more flayed ones coming up this way. Well, I still have the canticle, the actual raw canticle itself, and that, I believe, will kill a flayed one. So I am going to go here. We're going to get to work on these corpses. And then see if I can flamethrower those three things. Did I not use... I didn't use this. I forgot to use this. Okay. Well, we'll use it next round. I'll be a little bit frisky. Let's actually kind of waste that. Just I want to clear all these corpses out of the way. I want to make sure the... Oh, God. This destroyer corpse is the one that I should have cleared out, though, because... It's in the way of the flayed ones, and that's going to potentially cause them to path the other way around. So that was a bit of a misplay. I'll use this to heal myself just to put that thing on cooldown in case the fight lasts long enough that it comes back. Although I suspect that won't happen. Because we basically killed everything. All that's left is flayed ones. So the big variable is what pops out of the woodwork. I'm going to drop a damage servitor here just to clear off this destroyer corpse. If it beats the flayed ones on initiative, which it didn't, it could guarantee that they go up towards me yeah that's the problem now they're going the other way this one's going way the hell out of the way it's not a huge deal it's just you know annoying uh this one should delay i guess this other flayed one might also come up oh no th there's a way for these people to go people okay well the servitor has no function now because the flamethrower is going to kill the corpse as well as the flayed ones themselves Let's remember to use the actual ability this time. And see, three to five is not going to do it, but we'll use the actual canticle itself. Of course, if, you know, this last bar happens and these things pop out, I might regret not having the canticle. But I doubt that there's going to be such a dangerous threat spewing out of here that I'm going to regret that I didn't use my resource or that, that I don't have the resources left over to use. Okay, we will... I can shoot at somebody. Let's shoot at this i don't care about cleaning up these corpses because one shot from my robot will clean them out because because of the circular aoe so i don't care about clearing those corpses let's get some damage on use my poke stick okay is there a scanner up here i need to just get this i need to get it and that's what this servitor should be using is helping me destroy oh no oh no not the suspect activity uh, well, I've just used up all my cooldowns, so there is that. Okay, well, we're going to take a bunch of beatings from these flayed ones, I guess. Unless I, like, walk out here and create a chokehold. Nah, you know, whatever. We'll be fine. I still have healing left. So I guess I really should try to help out with that situation. 
Can I get up here and just, like, whack a guy? Okay, let's... Okay, first things first. So we're gonna go here. Let's shoot this one, see what its stats are. Pop. And, yeah, let's just come over and whack it. Why not? Now, I have to be, I guess, a little bit cautious just because... Well... There's a chance that more suspect activity will happen when I go to get these scanners. Like, what what, what if, like, coming up to here causes that to spill out? Hmm. Okay, luckily I rolled high on my little dinker pistol, which meant that the buzzsaw is a kill. Let's not forget this. And, yeah, I'll cash out the CP. Let's whack this one. There's a chance this Flayton will, will do something stupid and trigger an, uh, an opportunity attack totally unnecessarily. They do do that sometimes. And they only do one to three damage, so my two tech priests with their two armor each don't actually take that much damage from these flayed ones. It's nice they're going after this one. That's just free CPs. Uh-oh. Can you reach it? Why did it go there? Hmm. Well, I don't know, but I want to make sure I clear out these corpses. And what I can do then is a really cool strategy called running. This robot has a lot of movement, and it actually goes faster than the flayed one. So it's not a problem. All right. Servitor doesn't really do that much, so we'll have it clear out the corpse. And... Stay next to a flayed one, I guess, and taunt it. And there's our new run. Now, the Necron Awakening, I, I might be able to get it down. Just because... We have so many scanners to blow up here. Yeah, maybe that was not wise. It's just going to die for no reason, I guess. Oh, God, that flayed one. Way the heck out here. And I need to get rid of that corpse at some point. My robot should hopefully be able to shoot at it. Yeah, let's just shoot at it. Get the corpse out of the way. Maybe kill this flayed one. This one's not... Oh, this this one, I guess, has been damaged. And should I go over here? Let's get adventurous. Sure, let's go over here. That flayed one doesn't have enough movement to reach it, so might as well. You can maybe get a kill. Does this one been hit before? Yeah, yeah, my tech priest hit it. And we'll pass. And you. Well, it's awkward with the flamethrower, but I, I can probably angle it in some weird way. Okay, not like that, maybe. Okay, if I, like, go here, maybe? Can I get the... I want to get the flayed ones, and I want to get that scanner. We'll take a chance, a 1 in 3 chance of getting hit through the armor. It didn't happen. And there we go. I hope they both die thanks to the machine spirit. Okay, so neither one of them died. Notwithstanding the machine spirit. Uh, okay, well, I could scan them. Just to see, but I guess since I already triggered that one's opportunity attack, this will probably kill it. Yep. Alright, and I mean, I have this scanner. I'm gonna save the scanner. There's actually a chance that some more enemies pop out, and there will be a more relevant use for the scanner. So, we'll just clear out the corpse, and my robot's blocking the way to get to those scanners, so that was a bit of a misplay. We'll pass the turn. I'm hoping this kills it. It does. Kind of wasting all the CPs there. Let's clear out that corpse. And also this corpse. It wastes the machine spirit, but I mean, it does, there's no real enemy that's super relevant. And unfortunately, I really should not have blocked the path with my robot. All right, I'll shoot at this. I can actually, can I actually shoot at? Yeah, all right. I'm not, I'm not gonna spend two CPs to shoot at a corpse. That's maybe a little bit aggressively silly. Let's shoot at this one that I can actually reach, despite not having a range bonus. Okay, we gotta be a little bit careful. There's this corpse now sitting up here. Um, 
Oh, I already shot my weapon. Right, right. Okay, so we'll just pass there. Now it's going to be important to have my robot move before my tech priests move. So that the robot can get the hell out of the way. Okay, perfect. So let's clear a path. I am actually going to shoot at this corpse. I'm just most concerned about it coming back. I don't want to deal with that. And now you can delay. All right, so we've got some business to do here. Let's go up to these scanners and see if any more suspect activity happens. I've got a full row of CPs. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, a warrior and an immortal. That I'm not thrilled to see. That's actually a non-trivial enemy there, that immortal. With energy armor. All right, well, what can you do? I guess it's nice that this is off cooldown. It's not going to kill the Immortal. But we'll take a good chunk of health off of it. And spawn some Servitors around it. And hope for the best. I'm actually going to do it, I think, like this. Because I want to be near the Warrior. If I need to take an Opportunity Attack in order to get into position. Because their Opportunity Attacks don't actually hurt me. So now that is not going to kill it. Do I still have the actual canticle? No, I already spent the actual canticle. All right. Okay, so that critical is nice. It clears the corpse out. We'll pop some more damage on it. A crit goes through the armor, kills it, and knocks the corpse out. Well, okay then. All right, so now what I can do is I can just scan both of them and then be on my merry way because I can have the robot shoot at the scanners. Now, the robot does 5 to 10 damage, and they have 7 health. So it's actually not a guaranteed kill. I do need to be, like, nearby-ish. But then again, I am not that far off. I'm just going to go wild here. Let's scan this thing. Oh, God, I'm an idiot. I'm dumb. I'm dumb and bad. Because by scanning it, I have now scanned or de or destroyed all of them, so I don't get to destroy those. That was a bit foolish. Uh, I could have probably gotten it down to one if I had kept one flayed one alive and blown all three of them up. Ah, that would have been annoying. Anyway, no regrets. I'm actually fine with it. I think I'm pretty overpowered at this point, maybe more than I realize, so I don't need to, you know milk every last advantage to necron awakening level at the end of a mission is perfectly serviceable well thank you so much for watching everybody hope you enjoyed it please like and or subscribe i'll see you again soon and of course here's the mission tally screen if you want to see that take care